Welcome, everybody. Uh, for those who are kind of pressing in, you know, there are, there's a little bit of room on this side. Um, of course, as architects, one of our main charges is, is life safety and egress. So, um, yeah, as long as maybe just enough so if I have to run out of here, I can. Um, anyway, uh, welcome. I think it's great that we have standing room only. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to have everybody back. For those of us who work here in the summer, uh, it gets pretty quiet. So this is great to see, see everybody here. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jim Stevens. I'm the director of the School of Architecture. And for those that don't know, which you should, uh, the School of Architecture comprises the architecture program, the landscape architecture programs, undergrad and grad. And we have two master's of science programs in Charleston, the master of science in resilient urban design. And I'm sorry, the master's of resilient urban design, the master of science in historic preservation. Um, so today is the, the convocation of all of those. So it's a beginning, it's a beginning of a year. And I think whenever you do that, it's really important to kind of take just a second and take stock about the year prior. And we had an incredible year last year. For those of you who were here, we got to experience the 50th year of having our villa in Genoa. We had a celebration in Genoa, Italy, but also our exhibit here at Clemson. And for those of you who may have been at other institutions that have architecture and design, we are incredibly lucky at Clemson to own and operate through our related organization, the CAF, our villa in Italy. It is an amazing place. I encourage you, if you have the opportunity to go, to please go. We also saw an exhibition and the anniversary of the 60th year that Harvey Gantt uh, became a student here and essentially through that act of registering and matriculating in the School of Architecture uh, was the moment that South Carolina became desegregated. And it was really kind of an honor to be kind of the center of those celebrations last year. Last year was the sixth year in a row that our students were recognized in the Coat Top 10 competition. And we also had an exhibit to mark that of six years of the Coat Top 10 studio. Uh, I hope that you were able to see that. We also were represented at the Venice Biennale uh, with some of the work from that Coat 10 studio. So we were able to kind of internationally so, show the great work that you do at the Biennale, which is the, probably the most important architectural exhibit. Uh, that happens every two years. Um, we had a record number of applications and we have had record enrollment for the last three years. In fact, we've had so much enrollment that we purposefully turned it down a little bit, which then even made it harder for people to get into our programs in architecture and landscape architecture. So that's really, in some ways, great news for you because you're here. You are one of those that was selected, and we're really happy to have you here. Uh, it's, it's a great time to be at Clemson, and it's a great time to be a student uh, at Clemson. Also keep in mind that last year we had a series of lectures that we themed around healing environments, and I hope that a lot of you were able to do it. This summer we published a publication with student and faculty work about, around the theme of healing environments. This year we're going to have a new theme, which I'm not going to announce yet, because this year the theme has been, uh, I guess, created and thought about through students. So students are the ones that are, have chosen the theme this year, and students are the ones that are gonna edit the next year's publication uh, that you can look forward to in a year. So in a little bit, you're gonna learn about that. But we did just publish the Healing Environments uh, publication recently. A lot of you may or may not know that the School of Architecture has an incredibly robust research agenda. We had so many Wonderful things happened last year in our research uh, area. Our Center for Healthcare uh, Facilities Design and Testing received multiple grants, but they received a significant $2 million grant that is made to study how we can improve the environment and improve the safety for children in emergency rooms with, that have, health, uh, have mental health uh, crises. Uh, we also, our uh, Community Research Design Center uh, was a part of a team that received a very significant $3.4 million Mellon grant to uh, develop a Black Heritage Trail here in Clemson and the surrounding communities. And that is a big deal. Some of you will even be involved potentially in those projects, but be aware that they're happening and they're out there. 
In terms of your experience, uh, one thing that we were really excited about that happened last year, starting in January, we made a massive investment into both staff and equipment, into our materials lab, and into our digital design shop. If you were a student in spring last year in Lee Hall, you probably noticed things changing over time, and they're in full effect now. So we are at a point where we're as close to zero with machines going down as you can possibly get with machines that aren't perfect. So we have now seven laser cutters in operation that are highly functional. Uh, we have invested more into our 3D printers. And unless somebody tells me different and it changed today, we have two large format printers in Lee 3 in the printing room. Last year there was only one, which means when did it, when did it break? The one. Finals, right? Every year it seemed. So now at least we have two. So the hope is, is that if we're in finals and we're printing all the time, if one goes down, we'll at least have another. That will limit your time having to go to Cooper Library to print. So this year, we've got a lot to live up to. We've got a lot to do uh, to, to make it a great year. And we have some incredible things planned. This year is the 35th year that we've had our Center for Design uh, Clemson Center for Design in Charleston. That's kind of amazing. 35 years that we've been there. We are at the point there that we hope this year, it's not finalized yet, that we are going to be able to own our own facility on the peninsula in Charleston. It's public knowledge because the Post and Courier uh, put it in the newspaper before we were able to announce it, but we're very, very close on a purchase of a property on the peninsula. So not only are we celebrating 35 years, we hopefully will have our own facility there uh, going forward. And we are going to have a celebration slash reflection period and planning phase for that uh, in October, where we're going to bring in past directors, past faculty, to really talk about what the next 35 years in Charleston should look like and what we should focus on. So that's super exciting. We also found out this week that we won three more awards in the Coat Top 10. Uh, so that makes seven years. Uh, that we have placed in that competition. So who's in the coat top 10 studio now? Raise your hand. No pressure. No pressure at all. It's just been seven years. Now, you guys are going to do great. You're going to continue to, to crush it. But we have such a legacy here of really dominating in what is the preeminent sustainability design competition in the country. The biggest news probably that we've had at this college, and this is kind of, yeah, it's definitely the biggest news that I've had since I'm here. It may be the biggest news in a much longer period than that. Actually has almost no, impact, no immediate impact on the students in this room. And so I did want to address it. So as of July 1st, the School of Architecture is now part of a new college, which is the College of Architecture, Art, and Construction. So we were formerly the College of Architecture, Arts, and Humanities. So it basically was taking one sort of mega large college and dividing it in two and creating two new colleges from that. A lot of that is in response to the growth that we have, which has been very large in all areas. And the provost felt very strongly that we were in a position to divide two colleges and grow them even kind of exponentially better. What does that mean for you as a student in terms of your classes, how they're offered, who teaches them, where you go to take them? Nothing. <laughs> so if you hear about it, it is zero reason for you to have concerns or anxiety. The only thing that it means is in the coming years, we'll be able to develop more and more ways to support you. So if you hear about it, it is important in the big picture in terms of your daily life and your teachers and your faculty and your spaces. We're going to keep going in the same way. So you can just think of it as a good thing that you don't, you don't have to worry too terribly much about. The last thing I want to say, and it, this is really the last thing I'm saying, because I'm going to hand it over to, to David, who's going to really kick us off into the convocation, is that I want everybody to think today about what we do in the field of architecture and landscape architecture and how incredibly impactful that is in the world. And I don't say that in a way like, rah, rah, you know, we're the greatest. I'm saying it really does impact the world. So what we do is important. And it is serious what we do. But I want everybody to remember that it's also incredibly joyful. It's, it should be fun. 
right? As soon as you're not having fun, you're probably doing it wrong, okay? And I know that'll probably come with a chuckle if you've already got deadlines and you're stressed out. But I think if you, if you obsess on that part of it, you're not going to achieve the designs that you could achieve. So remember that when you're in studio. Remember that when things get toughest, that you can find the joy in it. And it's not just the results that yield to kind of creating something that betters the world. It's the process itself. It's working in studio with your colleagues. It's supporting each other when, you know, I can't get my model to work, why not? And you sit down with a colleague and help them, and you actually learn something by teaching them. It can be the joy along the way. So please don't forget that as we go through this year. And I think if you keep that mindset, you're going to have a fantastic year. I really believe that. So welcome to this year. Uh, really quick, so uh, you're going to be getting these emails, and I know how many emails you get and how quickly you can dismiss them. But I do want to remind everybody, especially the undergrads here, that we have other graduate programs in the school, and we're going to have some open houses if you're interested. We obviously will have one for our Resilient uh, Urban Design Program, and you'll get an email about this. Um, we also have the Historic Preservation one, if you're curious about learning about that. We have our Landscape Architecture uh, Master's Program, Open House, open to all of our undergraduates here who are interested. Uh, so with that, I'm going to introduce the people that actually run the School of Architecture. Can the staff come down? <laughs> come on down, staff. I don't even know how you're going to make it down with the. You guys have to like line up and salute them as they come down. Oh, you want to stay? You want to stay in there? All right. So, but of course nobody can hear you. <laughs> well, let's just go over here first. All right. So I'm going to let you introduce yourself, Amanda, and tell everybody here what you do. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm Amanda Menifee, and I am the academic advisor for first and second year students. So if y'all have any in architecture, so if y'all have any questions or anything, please let me know. Um, I can also answer just general questions from the upperclassmen if y'all want to know anything, too. Thanks. Yeah, if you're a first and second year student or even a third year student in the BA architecture program and you don't know who Amanda is, I predict there's a class you were supposed to take that you haven't. <laughs> so that should scare you enough to make an appointment with her. So I'm going to come up here, and I'll hand it off. I'm like Bob Barker. That's right, I am. They don't have it that way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, hello. I'm uh, Michelle McLean. Uh, I, this is my 30th year. Uh, at the, thank you. Um, I retired a couple of years ago. I stayed on part-time to do um, the registration coordination. So all your classes that you see online, I put those on there. And then um, I do the um, career expo every year. So just uh, every um, spring we have a career expo. This past February, we had the largest one we've ever had. We had 120 architecture firms that came. So um, you'll be getting information soon about that. We're going to open the registration for firms in October. So we'll get a list of those firms out that are coming. And um, we have it at the Madron Center. And it's a huge event every year. Um, and then next week, uh, I bring my therapy dog, Lexi, and we'll be visiting the studios. So yeah. Well, let's nobody clap for Lexi. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Just really quick, our each day that we had for the career fair, at one point I think it sold out in 45 minutes. Uh, the first two days this past February sold out in 16 minutes with 80 firms. So it's our career fair and, and Taylor Swift tickets are kind of like the same, <laughs> but it really means how in demand you are in industry. So that's really important. My name is Esther Kaufman, and I do, I'm the accounting manager for the School of Architecture. I'm Casey Collins. I am the administrative coordinator for the Clemson Architectural Foundation. Um, you'll hear a little bit more about the CAF in just a bit, but we provide funding support for the student organizations and faculty um, each uh, semester. And then um, CAF owns and operates the villa in Genoa. Um, but once again, you'll hear a little bit more about CAF, and I'll see you around in Lee Hall. My name is Michelle Marchesi. I am the administrative coordinator for the Landscape Architecture Program. 
Um, my office is 3 112. My doors generally always open if, uh, in addition to landscape students. If, if you have any needs, stop by and ask the question. I'll, I'll help to guide you and get you where you need to go. Welcome back, and we're excited for a fantastic year. My name is Shay Vincent. I'm Student Services Coordinator. I do all of your graduate assistantship hires, hourly hires, registration. Um, so if you need overrides, you can come to me or looking for a course, that type of thing. And I'm also here if you need to come vent, if you need me to refer you to any services, I'm the lady for that. And if you just need some chocolate and just a minute or you need to cry, it's okay. Just come in my office and close the door because I've been there, done that. So I totally understand. I want to say hello to everyone. I'm Lillian Burns. I'm the administrative assistant. And if you need help with anything else, just come to my office. Right. Lillian does all the things. And I have chocolate, too. <laughs> oh, that's right. We have one more. Come on in, Regina. Thank you. Um, best for last. Regina Foster, as of March sometime, I was privileged to come work with the School of Architecture as the Fluid Campus Manager. So I have talked with some of you, emailed some of you, need to email more of you, and look forward to sending you away. <laughs> so we have one more who's hiding down here. They helped me make sure the technology worked. Bill Bates, the communications coordinator. Hi, y'all. I'm the communications coordinator. My name is Bill Bates. I will be taking photos of you throughout the year, posting you on social media, putting you in our marketing materials, and printing things, as well as like getting our merchandise and you know shirts and all that. So if you need me, you need a photo taken, just come find me in 118. I will probably be there. Thanks, Bill. So Bill's not like creeping around. He's getting paid to take your picture. So thanks, Bill. <laughs> Um, first of all, I think everybody would agree we have the best staff in the School of Architecture, hands down. <laughs> all right, so it's time for the faculty. You're going to have to come down here. I'm not running all over. I think you guys have to work your way down to introduce yourself. So come on down. I see you, Carlos. Come on down. Yes, line up. Yes, line up yeah, 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 like we have Yeah, of course. How many times have they asked you to stand up and present, and you do it, and when I ask them to come down, they're like, really, do we have to? All right, so I'm going to let you guys introduce yourself, tell them who you are, what studio you're teaching. And uh, I'll stand on the other end and catch it. I'll get started. OK, yeah, Mike. I take it. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Carlos Kleiss, I am um, teaching. I got fans there. All right. Uh, Fluid Studio, I also teach in the PhD program. And um, in the spring, I think I'm going to be on sabbatical. So I'm knocking on wood for that. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. This is going to be a great year. Thanks, Carlos. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Asa Peller. Uh, I teach in the uh, both in the second year undergrad studios and also uh, in a digital ecology elective, which in this year is intro to robotics. Um, and I also help manage the woodshop, the materials lab, the DDS spaces. So um, if you need help with making or fabricating or digital design to production, um, I'm one of the people you can come and ask for for help. Um, you know, help manage the spaces. So if you need help with equipment as well, I'll always answer your questions. So, hi, I'm Matt Nicoletti. I'm assistant professor in landscape architecture. Um, I teach interdisciplinary design and research, which this semester we're trying out as a fluid studio. I also teach the uh, implement, some of the implementation classes and uh, topics in the environment uh, related to landscape architecture. Hi, I'm Paul Russell, also teach in landscape architecture, graduate and undergraduate studios and the construction sequence. Um, you're welcome to come cry in my office. <laughs> if, you, 
You need to bring chocolate if you do. Uh, and, and, and the other gifts are accepted too. So welcome, we're glad you're here. Hi, my name is Mary Padua, professor of landscape architecture. I'm teaching the sophomores this semester and also key issues and also teach PhD students. And you can come to my office, lead to 209, which is upstairs, to smile and laugh. Hi everyone, I'm David Franco. I'm one of the two co-directors of the graduate programs in architecture. The other one is right here beside me. Uh, I also teach uh, graduate studios. Uh, this semester we are teaching also with Andrea, we are teaching the coach studio, and we are, yes, expected to win at least three next year. <laughs> at least. Hi, Andrea Mihalake, associate professor, co-director of the graduate program. I teach graduate studios in history theory courses, both in the graduate and undergraduate program. And I'm David Allison. I'm the director of the graduate program in architecture and health, and I teach uh, studios and seminar courses in that program. And uh, we welcome you all to look at what we're doing too. Hi, I'm Amy Trick. I'm an assistant professor, and I am currently teaching the MARC One Studio, and I, uh, and I also teach a structures class um, for undergrads. So if you're interested in taking structures too, you'll probably see me. So welcome. Hi, I'm Laura Browning. I'm the director of undergraduate studies in landscape architecture. I'm teaching basic design studio this semester. I also teach all the plant classes. So if you have plant questions, come my way. Hey, I'm Peter Lawrence, Associate Professor of Architecture. Primary roles are teaching first years of our um, MARC 1 track and courses in history and theory. Welcome, everybody. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Rashad Dorsey, new faculty here. I'm uh, teaching third year studio along with portfolio. Um, come to my office right now. It has uh, uh, Dave Lee on the desk on the, on the uh, door, but I'll be Dave Lee for the semester. <laughs> Uh, but come feel free. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Ufuk Ersoy. Um, uh, generally, I teach history and theory, but this semester I'm teaching a flute studio, and also I facilitate the PhD program colloquium. Thank you. Welcome back. I'm Baron Jeffries, um, second year studio. Hey, all. I'm Harrison Floyd. I'm a first and second year undergrad studio. <laughs> Hey, I'm Brian Bierman. I also teach with this crew, uh, second year studio and professional practice for graduates. Uh, I'm also the advisor for a lot of the profession related things here from licensure, AXP, uh, IPAL, co op, and I'm the um, faculty in residence at Clemson this year. Good afternoon, everybody. It's great to see you. Um, I'm Dustin Albright, and I am the assistant director for the School of Architecture, and I teach within the architecture department. I'm teaching a fluid studio this semester, and I also teach in our structure sequence. So it's good to see you all here. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Berin Terim. I also teach second year, and I also teach history theory courses, undergrad and also grad. Welcome back. So good to see you all. I'm Hejong Chang. Uh, I'm a faculty of uh, landscape architecture, and I'm teaching research methods for graduate and urban design studio for seniors. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Chloe Voltaire, new faculty. I teach second year studio and community one to one. I don't have chocolate in my office, but feel free to drop some off. <laughs> Hi guys, I teach in the architecture and health program, mostly graduate studios, and then programming and pre-design in the spring, which is also open to undergrads, so I hope you consider joining. Oh, Joe. Okay, so we, uh, we're going to have uh, student orgs come up next, but because Joel Brown uh, works in the materials lab and the DDS, he's too busy to come to convocation, keeping all the tools running, so I'm going to let him introduce himself. 
Hey guys, uh, sorry I'm late. I was actually fixing a tool when I got a text message that this was happening. So, <laughs> nice to meet you. I've met several of you, a lot of you already. My name is Joel Brown. I'm the manager for the materials lab, the wood shop, uh, the dig digital design shop, uh, the DDS. If you see me in the hall or you come into one of our maker spaces, feel free to say hello. I love to talk to you guys and see what you have going on. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Joel. So AIAS representative, come on, come on down. It is like Bob Barker. It's like the tribute, the tribute conv convocation to him today. All right, and you just use a little arrow there if you wanna change slides. Oh, yeah. So hi guys, we are the American Institute of Architecture students here at Clemson. I'm Emma Grace. And I'm Faith Cozier. And we're co-presidents this year. So we are basically the student division of AIA. We offer a lot of different opportunities for networking with, um, within the School of Architecture and then with other schools across the nation, offer lots of workshops, really a chance to grow in the profession. So as Emma said, AIS is a national organization and it's part of AIA. And all uh, School of Architecture students are welcome to join. It's not only undergrad, graduate students also. Um, and some events that we're going to have this year, we're gonna be going to New Orleans for Forum. Um, that's gonna be the beginning of January before the semester starts, um, as well as a Beaux-Arts Ball, which we started last, we brought it back last semester, um, and it was very successful. So that's going to be in the spring as well. Um, and then we have our annual grassroots conference in DC in the summer, um, which Emma and I attended, as you could see in the photos, um, as well as professional workshops and fun events um, and social events, so. All right, those conferences are a lot of fun. We want all of y'all to go with us, but to get involved, kind of start y'all off, here are some of our upcoming events. We have a lake party, September 3rd, that's coming up. There's gonna be food, it's gonna be a potluck. Then we also have our first general body meeting on September 6th, right here at 545. We'll, we will have pizza, again, pizza. We wanna see you there. And then if you are interested, we have many ways you can get in contact with us. We have our website, we have our Instagram. You can email us, we would love to hear your questions and get you involved. We also have a group me. Please join. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right, SLA. Just use the arrow keys to switch the slides. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tyler Bentley. And my name is Haley Carpenter. And we are the co-presidents of CUASLA, and that is the American Society of Landscape Architects. It's pretty much what AIA is, but for landscape architecture. Um, this is all of us this year that are officers. Uh, pretty much what our association does is advocate for the profession through education opportunities and different communication events, but we have a lot, a lot of cool stuff coming up this year. So our first meeting is September 6th at 1 p.m. in the Wedge. I know there's not a lot of landscape architects in the crowd right now, so this might not apply to you guys, but if it does, please come. Um, two of the main events that we're working on this semester is Parking Day on September 15th, and this, all of you guys can come to. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be right outside of the Library Bridge. It's, we're taking a parking spot, turning it into a park, super dope. Uh, and then the ASLA National Conference, which is in Minneapolis this year. We would love for you guys to join us. That'll be a lot of fun. We've got a welcome party, also on the 15th, family weekend, and Labash in the spring. So if you guys wanna join our group me, it's up there, the QR code. Nomas. All right, before, before they present, I'll embarrass them. So not only is Clemson NOMAS my favorite chapter of NOMAS, they were named the National Chapter of the Year at the National Conference, so. Hey everyone, so as you heard, yes, we won the National Chapter of the Year um, in Nashville 
last year, and we are national organization for minor minority architecture students. So here you go. Hi, I'm Seth Moore. I'm our graduate advisor for this academic year. And the NOMIS's mission within the School of Architecture is to promote diversity, but also to promote excellence, community engagement, and the overall professional development of our members. Um, over the past few years, we've done a couple key things within the School of Architecture at large. We established a design justice course, which is now a part of a graduate certificate you can earn on your diploma. Um, we planned the first NOMA conference by a student chapter in March, and that was in Charleston. For that, we then won our uh, Chapter of the Year Award. And then last semester, we led research, design, and installation of a Harvey Gann exhibit to celebrate the 60th anniversary of his desegregation of Clemson and to celebrate the impact that it's had on the university and the School of Architecture at large. So as you can see, we really cover from community engagement, professional development, to even social engagement. Um, this year, our goal is to get back into School of Architecture. So our events will really revolve around getting the community together. And we also have a partnership with Perkins and Bill this year, so expect a lot of events from them as well um, to get involved. So our first general body meeting is actually today um, at 5.45 p.m. in the Wedge. So please feel free to come. We'll have pizzas as well. Um, and then our first major event is the Back to School Bash, which is in the Lee Lowry Courtyard at 5.45 p.m. on September 8th. Um, again, I'm Shamita Nandi, and I'm the co-president of CNOMIS. And here's our QR code to join. Yeah, thank you. Equity and architecture. Yep, there you are. Hi, I'm Peyton. I'm a second year architecture student. Hi, I'm Elena. I'm also a second year architecture student. And we are here with EQIA or Equity and Architecture. So Peyton is our social media chair. I'm membership chair, and unfortunately, our president Allison is out sick today. And we're also looking for event chairs or ambassadors. So if you guys are interested in that, please feel free to let us know. So a little bit about us. Um, Equity and Architecture was created to make sure that students at Clemson have equal access and opportunities um, and kind of get everything that they need to succeed in their architecture journey. All right, in some of our events, we have meetings and workshops throughout the year, and as mentioned in the previous slide, they're really just based around what our members need at the time. We also do luncheons just to really help uh, promote mental health and helpful resources, and we do social events throughout the year that are just really low stress just to kind of help our members decompress if they need it. And our main goal is really just to make sure that everybody has a really enjoyable experience here at Clemson and that if they need anything, we have that to support them. That is pretty much all that we have for you guys. Feel free to give us a follow on Instagram, join our group me, um, and if you guys want to be added to our email list, feel free to reach out to me. My email is up there. You'll get newsletters and updates about events and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's it. We're looking forward to seeing you guys at our next meeting. Gap. Hey, I'm Casey, I'm the president of GAP. And I'm Kat, the VP of Events Chair. GAP is the Graduate Architecture Professional Partnership Club that we have, and it's for all the graduate students inside of the School of Architecture, so architecture and landscape architecture. And we are here to develop both academically and socially and provide a bridge from the academic world to the professional world of architecture. And we do this through develop uh, for networking and through other events. So first, if you're a graduate student, raise your hand. You have all joined GAP, thank you so much. And we have some awesome board members. I won't go through all of them, but they're fantastic. And then a few of this year's events, um, we do tailgates out in the courtyard. It usually starts two hours before the game time. We're doing workshops, firm crawl, t-shirt sale, and also a tie-dye event. And then we primarily post um, events on our Instagram, so you can, you can follow us. And um, our first football watch party 
because it's not here, is this upcoming Monday at walk-ons at 6 p.m. And then the first tailgate for the first home game is gonna be on September 9th at 11 a.m. And we have food, so come. Our first fundraising event for this semester is gonna be through the sales of this t-shirt and it's our Graduate Architecture Professional Partnership t-shirt. The 1913 is cause that's the year that the architecture program was established. So you can do the QR code to go to the Google form and order t-shirts and we'll also have them in person at the first tailgate. Thank you. Awesome, thanks. So I think Todd, it's time for you to come. So uh, while we hook up the, uh, the tech here for Todd, I wanted to, to mention to all the students here, if you have been to a fluid campus, or you have gone on a field trip, if you have watched uh, a lecture, you've probably directly benefited from the Clemson Architecture Foundation and maybe not even realized it. So the Clemson Architecture Foundation is an allied organization that's been around for about 70 plus years. I think Casey could tell me the exact number, um, but it's an organization of alumni from architecture and their primary mission is to raise money and help you, help the students specifically. So they're, they're your friends. So Todd's here, a member of our board, and he's gonna tell us more about the Architecture Foundation. Awesome, thanks, Jim. Um, thanks for having me here. Uh, it's really great to see y'all. So my name's Todd Richardson. I'm a landscape architect. I graduated uh, here in 2001. And um, if this will work. I co-own a firm in Charleston called Synchronicity. And uh, we also are active in the uh, mentorship intern program with the college uh, down there in Charleston. So uh, I'm on the executive board for CAF, and uh, I've been on the board now, I think, for six years, Casey? Sounds about right. Close enough. More than five. Um, so a brief history about us. It was founded in 1956, and the goal was really to support you, the College of Architecture, and everything that you do. So we are primarily a charitable fundraising organization. We have 40 members, roughly, and we're all graduates of this program, so that's really important. So everyone who is on the board is a passionate graduate. Um, we have, I think, probably one of the most unique opportunities with any architecture school in America is that we own the villa in Genoa, Italy. And we have a partnership with Clemson so that you all are able to go there for three semesters a year. Uh, we also support the Fluid Campus in Barcelona, Spain, and also Charleston, which currently resides in the Cigar Factory. Uh, we were instrumental in securing what will hopefully be our new home um, just off of East Bay. So that is a very exciting thing for us. And um, just in general, um, from a numbers perspective, we give out and direct $180,000 a year right to you. So it's a really big deal, and we're really uh, excited to do it. So the villa, um, we are the owner and the steward. It's the flagship of the Fluid Campus. Uh, we had the great opportunity to go this spring and celebrate the 50th anniversary, and it was just incredible. For me, I wasn't able to go to the villa, so it was really special. That was actually my first time to go. I would encourage all of you, it's really tough to get there. If you can, do what you can, beg, borrow, and steal, and make that a goal. It will be a life-changing experience. If you steal, don't get caught. So funding, um, this year we, we helped fund the uh, Harvey Gantt celebration, that was really cool. My dad was actually at Clemson when Harvey was um, a student here and that was really special. So in the fall, that's our biggest funding drive. We, we fund $50,000 roughly in fall proposals. Um, of those, we, we give three significant student um, gifts out. Uh, that's ASLA, AIA, and CNOMIS. Uh, last year, I think, Tyler, we sent what, 26 kids to San Francisco? something like that. So we, we, yeah, it was really cool. And it was awesome to go there and see everybody. We almost won. You guys have got to win the tailgate this year. I mean, you came close, right? Second place. Uh, and in the spring, uh, we do $20,000. And then annually, we have endowments. So these are, these are kind of like uh, investment funds that spin off interest every year. A lot of people historically have given to the school and the college. And so we help direct, when that interest comes off, we help direct that to go to special programs and annual programs. Um, notably, we also sponsor the annual lecture series, which you will see the first one in just a few minutes, as well as the CNOMIS conference, AIA, 
S, GAP, um, ASLA, Equity and Architecture, Health and Wellness, Historic Preservation Prize Competition, the First Year Architecture Field Trip, and the CAF Prize. Come on. Um, so Sylvia Carroll, who has been the steward for over 40 years, is retiring uh, officially, sadly, this year. And um, so my business partner and I actually created an endowment to honor her to go along with the 50th celebration. Sylvia's going to be here. Is she coming back in the fall? Or she's in the spring. So, yeah, so she's going to be here next spring uh, where we officially celebrate her retirement. And Martina, our new steward, will be here in the fall. Yes, and most importantly, she's going to the Clemson-Florida State game. So uh, we want to make sure she understands how passionate and insane we are as Clemson fans. So what's really important about the Sylvia Endowment, and we do have a couple others that have similar crossover, is that these are student travel grants. These were formed um, right from the heart of to help students who can't financially get there to help get you there. So we are continuing to fundraise for that. We just crossed $100,000 in that. And in a few years, that's going to start to spin off these travel grants. So we're really excited to see that going with a lot of momentum. So the CAF prize, this is our largest annual prize competition. It happens in the spring. This year, we are going to announce it late in the fall. That way, everyone can be prepared. Um, we want to make sure that we have a healthy competition and that you all are prepared for it. We know you have a lot going on. Sometimes it can hit right after spring break, I think is unfortunately where it kind of hits. And that's usually when you get crushed. So we really want you all to um, go ahead and have this in your hearts and minds before you go away for the holiday break. And, and we just started last year to where you can be a partner in this. So you don't necessarily have to do it by yourself. You can have a partner. If you have a compelling proposal to us, that number can go up. And, and I'm going to challenge the CAF if we have a really great proposal to double that number. So I want you guys to really put some great proposals together for that. It's awesome. It's pretty simple. You fill out an application. You have a proposal of what you're going to do. You have an itinerary and a budget, which align. That's very important for those. And you also have a portfolio. And so we want you to have a great but realistic proposal and make sure that you include all of your great work so we can see how you've progressed through school and where you intend to go. What's also great about the CAF prize is when you win that and you go on your trip, you get to come back, present it to CAF, and then you get to be a non-voting board member for a year. So you, you already start to network and get onto a board, which is really important. It can be a very intimidating thing when you're a young professional getting out in the world. You want to give back, you want to be involved, but it's really tough to find inroads to get to a board seat. This is a great way to do it. So um, of the three fluid campuses, one that I really want to focus on is the Charleston experience. So this gives you a chance to work uh, and live in downtown Charleston. We're working on the living part. Um, but you really get to walk and explore the peninsula, which is this incredible lab of urbanism. It's, Charleston is one of the most unique places in America. I love having an office there, working there, having projects there. It's so great to have our academic institution uh, constantly um, exposing students there is just, it's next level. And what's really great about the Charleston experience is you do get to do an internship with a local firm. You work 16 hours a week, you're treated as a part-time employee, and it's a real job. Especially when you come to our firm, we're going to put you to work, and we're going to make sure that you're leading a project, and that you're having client exposure, project experience, and you're going to walk away not only with education in Charleston, but also professional exposure in Charleston. So please, if you can't get Genoa, get Charleston. And if you can, get both. So the Career Expo, this is going to be in February. It's the 21st through hopefully the 23rd. We should sell out, I think, again for three days. Um, so that's going to be 120 firms over three days. Last year, we didn't even have 100 graduates. So do the math. Highly competitive. We even missed out on a really key hire to another firm it was a compliment that we lost that person, but still it shows you just how heated that competition is. So, um, and those offer not only full-time positions, but also summer internships in the four disciplines in the school. So please put that on your calendars and make sure to show up and don't just show up for one day. Try to get there for every single day. You're gonna have firms, 40 firms every day from all over the country, folks 
clamor to get into this. It sold out in a record time this year, and it was shocking even when we added the third day that that sold out in, I think, under an hour. So really impressive event. And it's just a recharge, especially for all of us grads to come back and to interview you all, to help you, even if you're not gonna come work from, for us, even if you can't get into our interview slots, find us. We'll take time, we will give you a secondary interview, we'll give you a portfolio review. Make sure you tap into this professional network that is literally at your feet. And then we're, um, we're gonna do again a t-shirt contest. We had our first one last year in the spring, we're gonna do it again. We'll announce that probably around spring break. Uh, so bring your creative <laughs> thoughts to that. That was a pretty impressive one earlier. So um, as good as Gap or better. And then how else can we help? Um, you know, if you've got ideas, this is my email right here. Um, please send them to me. I got some great feedback last year and I can take that information and I can work with Jim. We might have some funds that we can direct. We might have some resources or some professionals that we can put together. There's a lot that we have that we can tap into and a lot more that we can find out how can we you know, provide Obviously, it, it sounds like we're going to need a lot of chocolate, uh, but <laughs> we're going to find some ways to, to help y'all. You know, luckily, we've got a great director here with Jim, and he's really reinvested a lot into the school and the program. I mean, it, it's so incredible where the school is now compared to where I was here. So um, please email, reach out to me, reach out to Casey, reach out to Jim. Anyone who has my email will send it to me, and we will thoughtfully consider what you send, and I'll work it into our first meeting, which will be... Um, the Friday before the Florida State game. So once again, my name's Todd. It was great to present to y'all. And um, if y'all have any questions, please hit me up. Really appreciate it. And go Tigers.